Okay, so this whole debate with Daniel H. and Ijaz and Sam and Jade Dyer is about three hours long, I believe. So there, this the whole debate between these four people was about three hours long. Uh, and I just want to point out a serious... I just want to point out like how, I don't know, disgraceful these Christian apologists are or in how they just completely take things out of context and you know declare victory for Shamoon. Now this whole debate is now notice notice uh, this clip is only uh this whole clip is only I don't know like one minute, not even one minute. The whole debate between uh Daniel Hikichu, Ijaz, Shamoon and John Jay Dyer was three hours long. So this idiot uh, towards Jesus takes a three hour long debate, clips it out of context, clips a minute or 59 seconds out of context, and declares, Oh, Sam Shamoon completely schooled uh, Daniel, Hick Hick uh, Daniel H. Hikichu. Yet, it's not pl he's not playing the full, he's taking things out of context and, in, in, you know, uh, declaring Sam Shamoon the victor. I mean, what kind of nonsense is this? The only thing Sam Shamoon knows how to beat is his Assyrian meat and his ex-wife. Sam Shamoon cannot beat anybody. Like, he can't beat anybody. He can't form a logical argument. He can't, he can't control his emotions. He is a wife-beater scum who cannot come up with any kind of good argument against Islam. And he can't come up with a good argument for the Trinity. Like, Sam Shamoon fails at logic reasoning you know history etc etc biblical exegesis Quranic exegesis etc so but my point is that uh you know this whole you know this person towards jesus takes things out of context and declares sam shaboon the winner i mean if you take anything out of context you can prove whatever you want if you take any kind of debate clip out of context you can prove trump won the debate if you take a debate out of context, you can prove Kamala Harris like completely schooled or destroyed uh, Trump. You could say you could say the same thing about Trump if you're pro Trump. If you take a one minute, if you take one minute out of their debate and say, "Well, Trump, uh, Trump destroyed Kamala Harris," where is the context of that debate? How come you're not playing the entire clip or you know the entire section? You don't even have to play the entire debate. Why are you not? Uh, uh, playing or showing the entire clip of that or the entire section of that debate whatever that debate section is right so these people take things out of context and declare Sam Shamoon the winner I mean that is not that is not honesty and that's not how scholarship works right you can't just take things out of context and declare you know the Christian debater whether it's Sam Shamoon etc the winner I mean like, this is what the Christian apologists do. They take things out of context and they keep declaring Sam Shaman the winner. But this shows how low and stupid these people really are. Because if you have to take, you know, if you have to put wife beater Sam Shaman so high on a pedestal that you have to take his debates out of context and declare him winner, you have to, do, you have to take like a one minute clip out of a three hour debate and say, well, Sam Shaman destroyed. Daniel Hikitachu, if you have to do that, if you have to take things out of context and declare Sam Shun the winner out of all the debates he does, what does that tell what does that what does that tell us about you? About you Christian apologists, that you guys are not honest. You can't admit that Sam Shun gets destroyed every time he opens his mouth. And you can't admit that Sam Shun has no good arguments for you know, for Christianity or Islam, or he has no argue, he has no good arguments for the Bible, and he has no argue, he has no good arguments against the Quran. This shows how stupid these Christian apologists are, and just how they will take things out of context and keep and keep saying Shamoon is the winner, when in reality Shamoon can't formulate a logical argument for his religion I and mean, against our religion. He takes things out of context. He gets too emotional, and he is just a scumbag wife beater who needs to be ignored so just please blacklist wife beater sam shimon and just be done with it do not give him the attention he so desperately craves seriously if you keep ignoring shimon he will fade away 
he will fade to obscurity. He will fade to nothing. So don't give Sam Shamoon the attention that he so desperately uh, that he so desperately craves. Just ignore him, and he'll fade away.